Hello everybody, welcome again to my YouTube channel in this video lesson for everyone to study that we have been studying for us a long time uh, during our Jumban uh, okay, ceremony and I hope everyone to take care of yourselves during this uh, event because of uh, the coronavirus okay so in this video lesson, I will share with you all about the gender inequalities in theoretical perspective. Yeah, uh, the first one that you have uh, to define the word inequality. Yeah, inequalities it means lack of equal. Yes, lack of equality. So, for gender in equalities inequalities in theoretical perspective around the world. Okay. Uh, gender is the primary division between people. Each society set up barriers to provide unequal access to power, property, and prestige and the basis of sex. Okay. Mm. Consequently, a sociologists classify males as uh, a minority groups because females outnumber males. You may think this strange. But since this term refers to people who are discriminated against on the basis of uh, physical or cultural characteristics. Yep. It means in uh, biological factors and social factors. Okay. And what is the origins of discrimination against women? Let's consider two theories. Both assume the yeah, uh, patriarchy is universal and accordingly to explain its origin look to universal conditions, biological factors, uh, coupled with social factors. Yeah. Now take a look to the next one here about uh, childbirth and social experiences. Yeah, sorry. Childbirth and social experiences. Okay, this theory points to social consequences of the uh, biology of human reproductions. Human reproductions make men seem inferior to men. Yes, in mean, these days, people who are the laws always. Uh, we, we can say that in the laws, uh, has uh, okay, uh, women and men, okay, they have. Uh, the equalities, yeah, uh, face to face with the laws, but actually, of all the laws, has no like that. Of uh, women, uh, women uh, seem inferior to men. Uh, women are limited to caring for children. For example, like uh, carrying, uh, carry child nine births give birth and nurse women are limited in activity for considerable parts of their lives. To survive, an infant needed a nursing mother. Yes. This is how male became dominant. Men, okay, weapons for hunting and starting wars. Okay, in the past, around the world, in the countries, Many countries do not let women uh, use weapons for hunting or to make wars between country and country. Always with men to do that. And uh, little values of prestige was given to women and they became second class citizens. Now let's look at you the next slide. Welfare and physical strengths. Okay. Sorry. Warfare and physical strengths. Yeah, warfare and physical strengths. The second, yeah, as very first proposed by anthropologist Marvin Harris, uh, 1977, who also attribute patriarchy uh, to universal social uh, conditions, threats to the existence of human groups and to universal biological conditions. Differences in the physical strengths of males and females. Yes. And also uh, here, uh, the two points 
on the computer screen visualizations. Patriarchy to do with social short condition, threats to human life, and uh, need for using physical strength of males because a female did not have enough power to do that. And also to encourage men to be warrior, okay, warrior, uh, females became rewards. If you can imagine uh, the threat of injury and that made the, okay, this recruiting process difficult. People had to be caused into bravery through promises of uh, reward and uh, chorus through threats of punishment. Females on average just 85% have large and only two thirds as strong as men. Yep. Found themselves at a huge disadvantage in hand to hand combat. A really I think this very since no one in the past is still alive from as uh, that long ago. It might be a little of both ideas. Okay. Let's take a look to the next one. Women in China. Okay. And the mouths. Yeah, sorry. And the mouth. Uh, many women gain more power in societies than before. Mouse, who is Mao? Mao is the leader of China's uh, 1949 communist revolution. is often quoted as saying that women hold up half the sky. By this, uh, he means that women are as important as men. One of the revolution's goals was free to women from their traditional low status. Male are still seen as superior, yeah, superiors. As China come become sorry, as China becomes more uh, uh, capitalistic, uh, women are uh, losing the powers that had before under communism. Now they are encouraged to do jobs for women, and these often don't pay as well. This means that women are also being encouraged to enter traditional women uh, occupations, uh, which are the less skills and pillars. Being nurses, nursery school teachers, grade school teachers, and street sweepers is more appropriate for uh, women, say an official uh, with the Beijing Labor Bureau. The news mentality that has begun uh, okay uh, that has begun to, to pervade the cultures is illustrated by an emphasis on appearance rather than skills yeah okay right now that's all for the video lesson today in this afternoon if you have any question you can ask me and don't forget to read the book as well uh, because we have uh, nearly take exams uh, in midterm or the finals. Don't forget to do uh, to do the lessons and uh, watch this video lesson from the first until the end. Okay, I hope everyone can do this well. Goodbye, good luck.